On the evening of October 3rd, 2020, at about 9.10 p.m., an officer-involved shooting occurred near the intersection of Mono Street and K Street in Mojave. The following presentation is intended to help bring context to the facts surrounding this case. This presentation contains video surveillance footage, radio traffic, and cell phone video. The deputy involved in this incident was not equipped with a body-worn camera. Some of the audio and visuals we are about to present may be disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. This is an overhead view of the intersection of K Street and Mono Street in Mojave. The main thoroughfare near the bottom of the screen is Highway 14, otherwise known as Sierra Highway. We've highlighted the Wiener Schnitzel restaurant on Sierra Highway for reference. The surveillance video taken from the restaurant faces northeast towards the intersection. At about 8.59 p.m., a black SUV being driven by Mikkel Lewis enters the drive through of the Wiener Schnitzel. Lewis is in the company of three additional passengers. Lewis leaves the drive through at approximately 9 p.m. Deputy Jason Ayala, an eight-year veteran of the Kern County Sheriff's Office, was the only deputy involved in the officer-involved shooting. Deputy Ayala was in the area at the time. He spotted and positively identified Lewis. Deputy Ayala knew Lewis was on probation, and he had prior knowledge that Lewis was possibly in possession of a firearm. Deputy Ayala initiated a traffic enforcement stop at 9.10 p.m. Deputy Ayala is seen speaking with Lewis near the front of his patrol vehicle. As Deputy Ayala prepares to perform a probation search of Lewis's vehicle, he and Lewis proceed to the rear of the patrol vehicle. We're going to pause the video to provide some further details. Lewis attempts to hide behind the large truck to the right. Deputy Ayala returns to the SUV and removes the vehicle's keys. He does this to prevent the passengers from leaving the scene and to prevent Lewis from doubling back and fleeing. Lewis also returns to his vehicle as Deputy Ayala takes cover behind it. As the footage continues to roll, you'll see Lewis in the white shirt enter the driver's area and attempts to retrieve an unknown item from underneath the seat. He then quickly exits the vehicle and charges towards Deputy Ayala, concealing his hand in his waistband. Lewis's three passengers begin to exit the vehicle. One of his passengers is an adult female. The other two are juvenile females. E15, everything your code for. Confirming your unit is code for. Information subject charge me with 
All three passengers are now out of the vehicle. Additional people begin to approach Deputy Ayala. You see the vehicle approaching into the spotlight, and in just a few moments, you'll see two subjects on foot walking toward the scene. Here you'll see Lewis's three passengers flee the vehicle towards the Wienerschnitzel. The adult female holding the purse was a passenger in Lewis's vehicle. You can see her walk out of the spotlight. She goes behind the building but then she re-emerges. She appears to retrieve something from her purse before she enters a field. Notice she uses a light similar to a cell phone light to look through her purse. She then re-emerges and returns to the vehicle. As previously viewed in the surveillance footage, a firearm was recovered from behind this utility pole in the spotlight, where the female had walked prior to returning to her vehicle. The red arrow shows where the surveillance camera is located. This is an overhead view of the drive through This arrow shows the orientation of the surveillance camera, while this arrow shows the utility pole where the firearm was located. This is a picture of the firearm located behind the utility pole. The following cell phone video was taken by an eyewitness to the incident. The audio has been edited for language. Cops just shot this fool. I just watched him shoot this fool. Pump the gas! Blocking me. <laughs> Sir, I used to be a paramedic. Do you want me to start CPR? What? I used to be a medic. Do you want me to start CPR? A second deputy arrived on scene at 9.17 p.m. and applied an AED to Lewis. Medical aid arrived within minutes. As first responders continued life-saving measures, a large, hostile crowd began to form. Additional deputies and officers from neighboring jurisdictions were dispatched to assist with crowd control. Lewis was pronounced deceased at the scene. Deputy Ayala was placed on routine administrative leave pending completion of the investigation. The Kern County Sheriff's Office Homicide Unit investigates any use of deadly force by any member of the department.
Their findings have been submitted to the Kern County District Attorney's Office for review. On November 18, 2020, the Kern County Sheriff's Office convened an incident review board examining the use of force by Deputy Jason Ayala. Deputy Ayala's use of force was deemed to be within department policy 